China just built a highway with zero human workers. Ten autonomous giants paved 157 kilometers of the Beijing, Hong Kong, Macau Expressway, laying asphalt with millimeter precision. No labor crews, no drivers, no shovels in sight. Machines made every decision on their own, guided by artificial intelligence. But this wasn't just a construction experiment. It was a warning to the rest of the world. For thousands of years, roads were built with sweat and human labor. Now, for the first time in history, machines have taken over. And the results are shaking the global construction industry. How did China make it work? And more importantly, what does this mean for every country racing to modernize its infrastructure? Highway construction usually means long shifts, workers in reflective vests, and the constant roar of diesel engines. But on this stretch of the Beijing, Hong Kong, Macau Expressway, the scene looked different. At dawn there were no crews with shovels or rakes. Instead, ten autonomous machines rolled into formation, each one driven by artificial intelligence and connected like a single unit. What unfolded was the world's first fully autonomous highway build, 157 kilometers laid with no human hands on the asphalt. At the center was the SAP 200C10, a paver designed to do the work of several machines at once. Its screed stretched 19 meters, wide enough to lay four lanes in a single pass. Traditional paving requires multiple machines working side by side, which often leaves weak seams where the strips meet. This machine eliminated that problem by creating a single continuous layer, making the highway stronger and longer lasting. Behind the lead paver came the rollers, six double drum units weighing 13 tons each, followed by three rubber wheeled rollers at 30 tons apiece. Their task was to press and smooth the asphalt in layers, compacting it with the precision of a machine press. Together, the 10 units advanced in a 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 formation. If one slowed or sped up even slightly, the rest adjusted instantly, keeping the line unbroken. The convoy's precision came from China's Beidou satellite network, which allowed centimeter-level accuracy across the full stretch of road. Unlike pre-programmed automation, these machines weren't simply following a set path. Each unit was processing thousands of decisions per second. The lead paver constantly analyzed the ground beneath it, adjusting screed angles on the fly. Rollers detected where compaction was uneven and applied extra pressure as needed. The convoy reacted to conditions in real time, something even the best human crew would struggle to match. Safety was a major achievement. Highway sites are dangerous, but here no worker stood on the asphalt. Human supervisors monitored the process from control rooms, with the ability to stop the entire convoy instantly if needed. Each machine carried electronic fences, invisible safety barriers that shut operations down if obstacles appeared. Cameras, radar, and sensors built multiple layers of protection around the site. By the end of the project, China had done more than prove that roads could be built by machines. They had shown that the results were faster, safer, and more precise than traditional methods. For engineers worldwide, it was both a glimpse of the future and a warning Human crews may no longer be the benchmark in construction. The Beijing, Hong Kong, Macau Expressway is not just another road. In China, it is called the Golden Channel, a vital artery linking the financial powerhouses of the North with the massive manufacturing hubs of the South. Every day, it carries millions of vehicles, feeding the flow of goods, labor, and commerce across the world's second largest economy. When this road slows, the nation feels it. In 2015, the Golden Channel made headlines for the wrong reasons. During National Day celebrations, over 750 million people took to the roads. At one toll station, 50 lanes of traffic narrowed into 20. The result was one of the worst traffic jams in history. Cars sat frozen for hours, stretching back for miles. Photos showed an endless sea of headlights, a static gridlock so severe that news outlets called it Carmageddon. That disaster was more than an embarrassment. It exposed how fragile, even the most important infrastructure could be when it failed to keep pace with demand. China's leaders drew a sharp lesson. The old ways of building roads, slow, labor-heavy, and prone to human error, would not be enough to handle the country's explosive growth. If they wanted a network that could sustain the future, they would need something faster, smarter, and more efficient. The solution came nearly a decade later in the form of autonomous construction. By using robots instead of people, China tackled several problems at once. First speed. Traditional construction requires dozens of workers, constant oversight, and repeated handoffs between shifts. Each handoff risks delays and mistakes. The robot convoy worked continuously, 
with no need for breaks or shift changes, cutting total build time dramatically. Second, quality. Human paving often leaves behind uneven seams, gaps, or weak spots where different crews meet. Machines don't make those errors. The 19-meter screed of the SAP 200C 10 paver produced a smooth, continuous surface with no visible joins. The rollers compressed the asphalt evenly, guided by sensors and satellite positioning accurate to the centimeter. The result was a road that is expected to last longer with fewer repairs. Third, safety. Construction sites are hazardous. Workers face heat, moving machinery, and traffic risks every day. By shifting humans into control rooms, the project removed those dangers almost completely. Instead of being inches away from heavy rollers, supervisors watched progress on large screens, ready to intervene if something went wrong. What made this project revolutionary wasn't just the size of the machines, but the intelligence inside them. For decades, heavy construction equipment has relied on skilled operators who know the feel of asphalt beneath their wheels, who can sense when a roadbed needs more compaction or when a screed is running uneven. The challenge for Chinese engineers was clear. How do you replace that human instinct with a machine's logic? The answer was a system they called Fusion Self-Sensing High Precision Positioning. Each of the 10 machines carried layers of sensors, cameras, and communication networks that work together to mimic, and in many cases surpass, human awareness. Infrared detectors monitored heat variations in the asphalt to ensure it stayed within the perfect temperature range. Pressure sensors tracked compaction levels in real time, feeding constant data back to the convoy. GPS receivers connected to China's Beidou satellite network provided centimeter-level positioning, allowing every machine to move in perfect sync. But precision placement alone wasn't enough. These machines needed to think. The artificial intelligence software inside them constantly analyzed road conditions and adapted on the spot. When the lead paver detected a dip in the ground, it shifted its screed angle by fractions of a degree to keep the asphalt level. When a roller sensed that a section required more weight, it applied extra pressure without waiting for human instruction. Each vehicle communicated instantly with the others through a low latency network so that one adjustment triggered a coordinated response across the entire convoy. Safety was the biggest hurdle. Construction sites are unpredictable, and without humans on the ground, the machines had to manage risks themselves. Engineers built multiple layers of protection. If anything crossed into the invisible boundaries created by sensors and radars, the system halted operations immediately. Emergency stop protocols could shut down all 10 machines in milliseconds if supervisors detected a problem. Real-time obstacle detection cameras scanned the road ahead, identifying debris, stray vehicles, or unexpected hazards before they could cause damage. Behind the scenes, human supervisors still played a role, but from a safe distance, sitting in control rooms, they monitored streams of data and camera feeds, ready to override the system if needed. But for the most part, the machines handled themselves. What was once human instinct had been broken down into data points and algorithms, and the machines proved they could do it better. This wasn't automation in the traditional sense, it was autonomy, and that distinction is why this project has engineers worldwide paying close attention. At first glance, an autonomous road project might seem like a clever experiment. But for China, it was much more than that. It was a solution to problems that every country now faces. Rising costs, worker shortages, and the urgent need for infrastructure that can withstand a changing climate. Start with economics. Traditional highway construction requires hundreds of workers, dozens of vehicles, and constant supervision. Every step carries risks of delays and costly errors. Crews need rest, shifts need changing. Each error adds time and expense. With a robotic convoy, many of those inefficiencies disappear. The machines work without breaks, deliver consistent results, and reduce the number of people on site. That means faster projects with fewer errors and lower lifetime maintenance costs. In a country building more highways than anywhere else in the world, those savings aren't minor. They scale into billions of dollars. Labor shortages are another driving force. China's workforce is shrinking as the population ages. Fewer young people are entering construction, a physically demanding and often dangerous field. Other developed nations face the same challenge. Autonomous construction offers a way to keep building even when the labor pool is smaller. Machines don't get injured, don't retire, and don't require long training periods. Instead, workers can shift into supervisory roles, monitoring data and maintaining equipment. The job changes, but the output doesn't slow. 
Then there's climate. Extreme heat, flooding, and storms are putting more pressure on infrastructure than ever before. Roads built with small errors or weak compaction can fail quickly under these stresses. Machines, with their millimeter accuracy and real-time corrections, deliver roads that are stronger from the start. A smoother surface reduces wear and tear, which also cuts emissions from vehicles over time. More durable roads mean fewer rebuilds, less wasted material, and a smaller carbon footprint. When news broke that China had completed a highway with no human workers, the international engineering community paid attention. This wasn't a small-scale trial or a laboratory test. It was a full-scale project on one of the busiest expressways in the country. That alone set it apart from experiments elsewhere. In Europe, the reaction was immediate. The European Union announced studies to examine China's methods, with officials openly considering whether similar systems could be adapted for their own projects. Europe faces aging infrastructure and a shortage of skilled workers, especially in countries like Germany and Italy where birth rates are low. For them, autonomous construction is not just an innovation, it may be a necessity. Japan, long known for its advanced robotics, also took notice. Plans are underway to test autonomous systems for the 2030 World Expo. Japan's population decline is even more severe than China's, and its construction sector has been hit hard by worker shortages. If Japan can adapt robotic road building, it would help address a gap that no amount of immigration or retraining can fill. Even the United States, often wary of Chinese technology, has begun exploring similar ideas. The Department of Transportation has quietly invested in research programs looking at semi-autonomous road construction. But the difference is scale. While American projects are still in the experimental phase, China has already proven that entire stretches of highway can be completed by robots in the real world. The global construction industry is now watching a race unfold. Europe, Japan, and the US are scrambling to catch up. But China has a head start and a willingness to push boundaries. The robotic highway was more than a milestone. It was a warning shot. A signal that China intends to lead in building the physical world of the future. This is about who will supply the world's infrastructure over the next 50 years. While other nations debate safety rules or test pilot programs in small trials, China builds. A 157-kilometer road completed without human workers is proof of intent. It shows that China not only has the technology, but also the political will to use it. That combination, engineering plus execution, is what makes this project more than a headline. It's a statement. The highway built by 10 machines isn't just a road. It's a model for how China plans to outpace the rest of the world in the race to modernize infrastructure. And if machines can do this, the question becomes, what will they build next?